for um, your papers for chapters one through five. We're done with the first section. So if you're on the electronic version, then you um, can pull up the section one file of the PowerPoint. And on the electronic version, you will just type where it says in blue writing, please type here. Um, and then just save it. And then you can email it back to me or have your grown-ups email it back to me. If you're on the paper packet, it's all the same stuff. So don't think that someone's doing something different than the others. Um, because I promise you that they're not. Um, on the paper packet, um, let's look at the dictionary detective. That's page four. Um, it's asking you to define the words immediately, missionary, distracted, fortunate, consolations, and congregation. I helped you with one of those today. Um, so you could just do something quick and easy right there um, that you don't have to have like a 17 sentence long definition. Um, and then the next one is match up. It wants you to match the words in the left column to their definitions in the right column. So it gives you those same um, vocabulary words and... Um, and it wants you to match them. And then it has um, fill in the blanks. So it wants you to fill in the sentences with the correct vocabulary word. And then down at the bottom, it says a little extra. In your opinion, what is the most interesting word from the first five chapters? And why do you think it's interesting? I would really love to hear your thoughts. Next, it asks you some multiple choice questions and some short answer and long answer questions. Um, ooh, I really liked the a little extra at the bottom of page six. In two to three sentences, compare yourself to the main character of the story, Opal. So tell me what's the saying between you and Opal. Maybe you have a dog. Um, maybe your dad's a preacher. Uh, maybe you've lost your mom. Something, you know, like that. Maybe you are new to some place and, and you don't have any friends. Um, and just tell me what could be the saying between you and um, little Opal. So I think, oh, and then the last thing for chapters one through five um, is remember we talked about chapter titles. We talked about that with our um, with our text features. Uh, so number one says, if you could give a title to this section of the book, what would it be? So what could we name chapters one through five? Like if we were going to put that in like its own little like group, what could we name that? And then I want you to tell me a quick summary of what happened in those chapters. Okay, so do I want you to rewrite the whole thing? No, you guys know that I don't like to read anything extra like that, right? So just tell me a short summary. Tell, tell me something that happened at the beginning, something that happened in the middle, and something that happened at the end. Remember, what a summary tells us, like, in order. Remember, we need it to be in order of, the, of how they happen um, for the summary. Next is tell me this favorite part of your sec of this section of the book. Tell me what you think um, is the funniest, what means the most to you, um, what caught your attention the most. Tell me something that's your favorite. And then tell me some new words that you learned. And number five says draw a picture of something you think represents the first five chapters. So just something simple. Maybe you're going to draw the Open Arms Baptist Church. Maybe you're going to draw a picture of the mouse flying out the door. Um, just something that, that really stands out to you about chapter five or one through five. I'm sorry, chapters one through five. So I know this video is a little bit longer than normal, um, cause we did this little wrap up at the end, but we will discuss, like I said, um, on our zoom call next week on Tuesday, April 28th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'll send out information about that. Don't worry. But I would really like it if you could have chapters one through five read by then so that we can have really good conversation. Uh, I think on our last Zoom call with Mr. Dietrich, it was a lot of me talking, and I would like to be able to um, let us all talk, okay? So, anyways, I love you. I'm recording this on Friday, so I hope you have a great weekend. Um, I've cleaned out your desks. Um, some of y'all is real messy, by the way. Real messy. Um, so, anyways, I love you all so very much. And I can't wait to read some more books with you. See you later.